So you might be trying to figure out how you can use Google Pay on your Samsung Galaxy Watch. Now, doing this is actually very, very basic, and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing I would recommend doing for the most part is going through and making your way over to your Google Play Store. So open up your Google Play Store like this, and you should be able to come into your standard Play Store application. And we're going to want to download the Google Wallet application. So you can search for it up here, or what you can also do is just scroll down, and it's usually right here, one of these like other apps. So just download this specific application right here, and when you download it, it'll go ahead and allow you to basically use whatever Google you know, payment things you have within your account. It'll go and showcase it within this specific account too. So you can go and open up this app. And what's going to happen is it's going to require some sort of like pin code or something for it to actually work. So you're going to want to set up a screen lock. In this case, I'll just do a pattern and I'll just do my standard one that I usually do. And I'll go and do it again. And I totally already messed it up. But typically what's going to happen is after you set up your pattern, it's going to allow you to add in your wallet. So this is basically where, you know, you're going to have to type in your personal information. I'm not going to do that on camera, but it gives you a little bit of a breakdown of exactly how to do it. So it's tap to pay everywhere you see these symbols. So that or that, you can see that to pay, open Google Wallet and select the card. So there's no like double tap on like the power button or something to open up Google, you know, wallet. You'll have to go through inside of the, you know, wallet application each time, unless there's a feature within one you are aware of as that allows you to do that. So it says to pay, you're going to have to open up the wallet card and select the card. And then it's going to say, hold the watch face to the reader and near the NFC symbol. And then after it says you're done, whenever you hear a chime or the watch buzzes, you're pretty much good to go. So that is it. Now it is time for you to add a card. So now what you can do is you can click this plus button here and you can type in your personal information. It will require you to go onto your phone and actually fill the rest of it out. So that is basically it. That's how to do it. It's a very basic process. Like I mentioned, it's super basic to do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.